Imagine that you are the most powerful person. In the world, you have millions of people under your command, and you can do whatever you want. You also face constant threats, wars, diseases, and betrayals. How would you cope with such a this was the reality of Marcus' life. Aurelius, a Roman emperor who lived almost 2,000 years ago, he was also a follower of Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that teaches us how to live well. In any situation, Stoicism helps us. Focus on what we can control and let go of what we can't in this video. We will explore how you can apply Stoicism to your daily life and how it can make you happier and more resilience is what is most important. Thing in life, is it money, fame, power, or happiness for the Stoics, a school of according to ancient philosophers? The answer was simple. It was virtue, which means living. According to reason, nature, and doing what is right and good. But how can we achieve virtue in a world full of distractions, temptations, and troubles? The Stoics had a core principle that guided them to focus on their own actions and thoughts instead of worrying about what others do or what happens around you. This principle may sound simple, but it is not easy to follow. It requires constant self-awareness, self-discipline, and self-improvement. It also requires courage, wisdom, justice, and moderation. These are the four cardinals, virtues of Stoicism, and they help us to act rationally and morally in any situation. One of the most famous Stoics, Marcus Aurelius, could have easily been overwhelmed by his responsibilities and problems or corrupted by his power and wealth, but he did not let that happen. Practice Stoicism every day by writing in his journal, meditating on his principles, and applying them to his actions, he wrote you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. He also of happiness of your life, depends upon the quality of your thoughts, understood that he could not control everything that happened around him. Both could control how he reacted to them. He focused on what he could do, not on what he could not do. He focused on what was in his power, not on what was outside. His what you can control power, how do you know what you can do? Control, and what you can't, Stoicism gives us a simple rule you can control. Your own reactions and attitudes, but you can control other people's actions or natural events, for example. You can't control the weather, but you can control how you dress for it. You can't control it. What someone says to you, but you can't control how you respond to them. Why is this distinction is important? because it frees you from wasting your energy and emotions about things that are beyond your reach instead of getting angry, frustrated, or anxious about things you can change, you can focus on improving yourself and your choices. This leads to a peaceful mind and a happier tips life. How do you get your day started? Check your phone. Watch the news or rush to get you ready. These habits can make you feel anxious and distracted. Instead, try before you do anything else. Take a moment to reflect on what you want to achieve and how you'll react to challenges. This will help you set your intentions and prepare your mind for the day ahead. The Stoics also practiced mindfulness. Being mindful means paying attention to what you're doing and why you're doing it. It also means being aware of your emotions and thoughts without letting them control you. Throughout the day, try to stay present and attentive to your actions and decisions. Sure, they align with your values. For, for example, if you value honesty, don't lie or cheat. If you value kindness, don't be rude or mean. By being mindful, you'll avoid regret and guilt and feel more satisfied with yourself. Marcus Aurelius was a great emperor who faced many challenges. He had to deal with plagues and betrayals from his own family, but he never gave up or lost his calm. He followed Stowe's way of thinking that helped him focus on his own actions and accept what he couldn't control. You can learn from Marcus and become more resilient than Stoicism. Teaches you to see things as they are. Not as you wish they were, it helps you. To deal with stress, anger, and fear. Shows you how to live in harmony with yourself and practice others. How can you practice Stoicism? Every day, let's find out one of the best. One way to learn from Stoicism 
is to reflect on your day every night before when you go to sleep. Ask yourself these questions. What did I do well today? Did I do poorly? How can I improve? Tomorrow, this will help you identify your strengths and weaknesses and make a plan to grow as a person. Stoicism is not a quick fix, but a lifelong journey you can expect to master it in a day. Or even a year you have to keep practicing it. Every day in every situation. Remember what Marcus AIA say the art of living is more like wrestling. Than dancing you have to be ready to face challenges and overcome them with courage and wisdom you have learned a lot about stoicism and how it can help you focus on yourself and cope with challenges but how can you make it a part of your daily life let's recap the main points and see how you can practice them every day day 1 remember that stoicism is based on the idea that you can only control your own thoughts actions and reactions everything else is outside your control and not worth worrying about This can free you from anxiety and your and frustration to practice self-focus by paying attention to your inner state and aligning it with reason and virtue doesn't let external events or other people's opinions disturb your peace of mind. Instead, focus on what you can do to improve yourself and contribute to the common good three develop resilience by facing difficulties with courage and wisdom learn from the example of Marcus. Aurelius, who faced many hardships as an emperor, but never lost his calm and dignity. He used his journal to reflect on his challenges and remind himself of stoic principles and finally engage in reflective exercises to review your day and assess your progress every evening. Ask yourself what you did well and what you did wrong and what you can do better. Tomorrow, this will help you grow as a person and as a stoic by following these steps. You can embrace stoicism as a way of life and enjoy its benefits. Just like Marcus Aelius with a little practice each day you can learn to focus on yourself and live a life full of peace and resilience. Fellow stoics, we're trying something new and exciting. The topic of our next video on stoicism will be chosen by you. Here's how it works. Drop a comment below with a stoicism topic or question you'd love to see covered. Browse through the suggestions and give a thumbs up to the ones you find interesting. The comment with the most likes will be the focus of our next video. This is your chance to guide our journey into stoicism. I can't wait to see your suggestions and dive deep into the topic you choose. Now that you have learned some stoic principles and how to practice them daily, it's time to challenge yourself. Don't just watch this and forget about it and put it into action every day. Day, try to focus on what you can control and let go of what you can't see. Changes your mood, your relationships, and your life is not easy, but it is worth it. And remember, you are not alone. On this journey, you have the wisdom of the Stoics to guide you and the example of Marcus Aurelius to inspire you. He was a man who faced many challenges but never lost his calm and his virtue. Wrote in his meditations, "You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength until next time." I hope you will find strength in these words and in yourself. Leave a thumbs up to help us reach more people in search of ancient wisdom. If you are new here, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. lessons on ancient wisdom thank you very much for watching and remember the key to a good life is focusing on what you can control and letting go of what you can't